You know, this is not a man who had any qualifications except one. He wrote a check for a million dollars. And that tells us about what's happening in Washington, the corruption. We have a broken government in Washington, D.C. It's been purchased by corporations. And I'm talking now about structural reform in Washington, D.C. Term limits. We have a system that's not fair, and it's not just fair for money. Start a constitutional amendment and pass it to overturn Citizens United. We stop this dark money and outside money from coming into our politics. We allow every kid in the country to register to vote when they turn 18. If we had a system like this, and we did something about gerrymandering, stop the voting purges, making sure we don't have money in politics. We have a broken campaign finance system. This is a voting issue. This is a voter suppression issue. It was the vote voter suppression, particularly of African-American communities, that prevented us from having a Governor Stacey Abrams right now. Yes. When you suppress people's votes, those are the very people you're going to come af after when, you, when you're in office. Depending on where you live, you may be required to show ID or not. You might have a lot of days for early voting or fewer days or none. What will you do at the executive level to ensure that every American has equal access to the ballot box? Federal leadership to establish voting rights for the 21st century. This affects every other issue that we care about. The House of Representatives passed a, a pro-democracy, anti-corruption bill. We can make for example, election day is a federal holiday with automatic voter registration, same day voter registration, making it easier for people to vote. We cannot allow the kind of racially motivated or partisan voter suppression or gerrymandering. We have politicians picking out their voters rather than the other way around. Our democracy is not worthy of the name. We must act to reform our democracy itself. I mean, voting rights are essential for our democracy. Securing our elections is essential for our democracy. But the political system we have today is corrupt. And it is not just voter suppression, not just denying black people and people of color the right to vote, but we also have a system through Citizens United which allows billionaires to buy elections. We have to overturn Citizens United. We need to move toward public funding of elections. We know what we need to do, and yet we don't make change. Why not? Because of corruption. We have a government that works for those at the top and not for anyone else. I have the biggest anti-corruption plan since Watergate. It involves ending lobbying as we know it, blocking the revolving door between industry and Washington. Then we have to start by attacking the corruption.